Hey guys, NJ0820 here, but you can call me NJ, and we are here with a, actually not a gaming video, sadly, but a tutorial video. Today, I have received so many comments asking, how do I get my mods? So, I'm going to go through an in-depth tutorial right now to show you how I use my mods and how to install them. This is going to be a really in-depth tutorial. This is not going to be some simple tutorial, skipping steps like those other YouTube videos you do. I'm going to show you every single step you have to take that will efficiently allow you to install Gorilla Tag mods efficiently. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Chrome. Google Chrome right here. So next what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hurt search Steam. Um, by the way guys, the re I, got, I forgot to tell you all the requirements you need for this. First of all, you need a, a more or less obvious, you are going to need a Oculus Quest 2, obviously to play Gorilla Tag in the first place. You are also going to need a USB 3 to USB-C cable. It could also be USB-C, USB-C, um, but honestly, Oculus recommends the USB 3.0 to USB-C cable. This is, and you're going to want to plug this into, you're gonna wanna plug this side into your Quest, this side into your PC. It, you could also buy the Oculus version, but honestly, I use a third party one and it works just fine. Next, obviously, what you're gonna need is, a, sadly, a gaming PC. If you do not have a gaming PC, this is not gonna work. I'm sorry if I disappointed you right there. Trust me, when I heard this first and I didn't have one, I was pretty disappointed. So I'm so sorry if I just disappointed you, but this will not work if you don't have a gaming PC, which, which doesn't have these capabilities. If your PC does not have these capabilities, it, um, Oculus Link will not work, sadly. So I'm just gonna scroll through here. These are the minimum um, possibilities you need for here. I'm just gonna scroll down here. You can pause the video if you want to. But these are all of the requirements you will be needing for Oculus Link, which is going to help you get your mods. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open Google Chrome, like I said. You're gonna wanna search Steam, all right, Steam. And never click this link that says ads. Always goes down here to say, welcome to Steam. And if it shows install Steam here, just go ahead and click that. If it doesn't, just click welcome to Steam. And then you're going to want to hit install Steam right here. And then you're just gonna wanna hit this install Steam Windows um, icon. I already have it installed, but I'm just gonna install it again to show y'all how to do it. So once it downloads, you're gonna wanna hit open. And it's gonna ask if you want to, I don't know if y'all can see this, but it's asking, do you want this app to allow changes to your device? You're gonna wanna click yes. Guys, you're gonna have to trust me on this one. Steam is perfectly safe. It is not gonna install any virus or anything on your computer. It is perfectly, perfectly safe. Do not worry. You're gonna wanna click yes. And it's gonna say, welcome to Steam setup. You're gonna go ahead and wanna set this up. Um, I'm not gonna go into full depth here. Just ask simple questions. Um, I'm not gonna do it because I already have Steam, so I'm just actually gonna hit cancel. But once you have done that, you can go open your Steam app. It should be in your files right here. But after you do that, you can go ahead and bring it like a desktop shortcut right here. I have mine right here. You're gonna wanna double click that to open it. You're also gonna have to create an account, which is fairly simple. But first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go to store right here where it says store. You're gonna wanna hit search, search Steam V. R, and then hit enter on your keyboard and it, it's this one right here with like the tint and the official steam vr logo you could do the performance test to see if your pc is compatible with vr um you can do that but if you already know if you your pc has the requirements i just showed you from the meta website you can go ahead and click steam vr right here so now what you're going to want to do there's going to be a download button probably like right here um, I already have it downloaded, that's why it's not there. But once you download it, it should be a VR, sh there should be a Steam VR shortcut right here. Um, that's what you use to uh, open Steam VR, but you don't have to open it. Once you 
start up a game you in your quest um because once you once you download steam vr it's an it, it's gonna be an app in your quest um yeah so yeah but you won't need to open it it'll automatically open it for you so next what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to hit oculus right there or you could type oculus app actually and then you're gonna want to click this link right here you're gonna want to scroll down to oculus quest 2 well actually it's the meta quest 2 right here this is what your um quest should look like then what you're gonna want to do is click download software and it might take like maybe an hour to download because it is a huge software um but once you download that um i'm not gonna download it because i already have it but once you download that it should be in your files just add a shortcut to your desktop here and uh, like me and you can just have that all right so now we have the basic apps you're going to need to run mods so next what you're going to want to do is go to um back to chrome you're going to want to open um discord all right y'all so now i am in discord um so i have these two servers right if y'all don't know how to use discord all you have to do is create an account it's really simple this i know there's a lot of creating accounts guys but don't worry this is completely safe you are not gonna get any virus you can trust that from me guys so once you go ahead and get discord which is a like completely safe you don't even have to download the um software you can just use the website version um if y'all don't know how to do discord i'm gonna do a brief summary right here these things are called servers so i'm in two servers right now project bronze forever and the vader anarchy hub so these things are also called channels right here which is where you can find things all right so now we are going to get into the part where we're actually going to install the mods all right so what you're going to want to do is join a server with um gorilla tag mods in them if you want to find a server let's just go ahead and find a server right let's go ahead and go to youtube um let's just search oh i don't know gorilla tag mod menu so you see all these mods right um oh look there's my menu video right there which y'all should definitely check out in the corn in the eye in the corner right there anyways let's say you want oh wow look at this big mod menu um, but we're not gonna get a big one. We're gonna get a simple one. So, um, we're just gonna get a simple menu right now. Um, so I'm gonna get, you could just search Gorilla Tag Mod Menu, find any of the ones you like, okay? And usually, like, let's just say That's this why. one. That's why I have. Let's just say this one, right? The Discord server. See, usually they're gonna have them in Discord servers. That's why I just brought up Discord right there. That too, because they can't distribute the mod on YouTube, so they don't get banned for illegal downloading which is not even illegal at all it's just a youtube self-positive so you're gonna want to click the mod menu discord that they usually have linked so this is this one it's flimsy mods so i'm just gonna accept the invite don't worry no discord servers are a virus so you can keep that in mind it will not hurt you so here we have his discord um so these things are called channels usually there are files called dot dll files these are mod menu files which you can use to mod these are the mod menu files so i just want to get his menu flimsy menu dot g version one dot dll now it's going to say potential dangerous download don't worry it is safe just hit continue to download it it will start downloading here you're going to want to hit keep it will not harm your computer all right Next, what you're, wanna, you're gonna need to do is get Monkey Mod Manager. This is how you're going to upload the mods to, well, Gorilla Tag. Speaking of Gorilla Tag, I forgot to tell y'all that you need to get Gorilla Tag on Steam. I'm so sorry. Um, let me show you how to do that real quick. So just go to store and search Gorilla Tag, and there it is free. Just like you did for Steam VR, hit the download button that's somewhere around here. And it'll start downloading. Once you have that downloaded, you'll get all of Gorilla Tag's files and you'll be good. So now that you have Gorilla Tag and we have the mod menu, we're going to need to get Monkey Mod Manager. So you're going to want to go to a new tab and search Monkey with no Y Mod Manager right there. And you're going to want to hit the one that's GitHub. GitHub. Make sure it's GitHub. 
And then here you go, you have the mod manager. So you're gonna have to hit plus five releases right here. And then this one, monkey mod manager.exe. You're gonna wanna click it and it's gonna download right there. Once it's downloaded, you can hit open. All right, so we are in monkey mod manager right here. If it says something like, um, could not find your gorilla tag file this has happened to me many times that means you have not installed gorilla tag on steam which you're gonna want to do like i just showed you a few minutes back but once you have it and it's working you're gonna want to make sure bepin in ex is checked and these are all different mods but we're using a mod menu so you're gonna also want to make sure utila is checked right utila and then you click install slash update install it's just a install complete now you're gonna wanna hit utilities, Bepin EX folder right here. And here we are. This is your Gorilla Tag folder. Everything you need about Gorilla Tag is here. So you're gonna wanna hit plugins. And here we have Utila and Shiba GT's menu X version 5.5, which is the um, menu I was using for my trolling videos. But for this purpose, usually it's just gonna be Utila. There's nothing gonna be here. So you're gonna wanna minus this out. You can minus out Monkey Mod Manager. You can now right click on your files app and you can click downloads right here. If there's not downloads, just like close your plugins file and um, open files again, go to your downloads and then hit BepinEX again in Mo Monkey Mod Manager. So once you're here, we're just gonna um, I have a folder called Gorilla Tag Mods Not Using. I put all my mods that I'm not currently using in here. So we're just gonna put this back in here. So now if I go back to my downloads, here's the menu I just got. Flimsy menu G version 1.dll. We're gonna drag this into the plugins folder right here. And there you go. You have the mod installed. But before you close anything, go back to Monkey Mod Manager and click install slash update. You gotta make sure you do that. Then you can close out of your files and monkey mod manager and you will be ready. You can close out of Chrome too. Now what you're going to want to do is open the Oculus app right here. May take a minute to start up, but once you're here, you're going to want to hit devices and plug in your link cable to your Oculus with the Oculus on and plug it into your Oculus and into your PC. Once that happens, there should be a green check mark here. Um, if it there if you don't see this quest thing just hit there should be a button that says like add device then hit quest 2 Put your link cable into your quest and your PC um, Make sure USB C goes in the quest USB 3 go into the PC and there should be a check mark that hits continue So I'm going to see y'all in the quest right now to test if the menu works All right, um voiceover future NJ here. I'm just realized I forgot to tell y'all how to actually open steam VR so once you open to put on your quest there should be like a pop-up that says um allow access to files make sure you hit deny on that make sure you hit deny then it'll probably ask enable oculus link you're gonna hit enable if it doesn't just go to your settings page and um hit oculus link and it should show your pc just hit launch and you will be teleported to this screen on screen right here you're gonna want to hit the book icon right there that'll take you to your game library and you're gonna want to hit steam vr as you can see right there and that will open steam vr once you're in steam vr you will be in your steam vr home you're gonna want to hit the button on your left quest controller as you can see right here it's the button with the three lines this will open the steam vr menu on screen right now and then you're just gonna want to click the gorilla tag icon and this will open steam vr gorilla tag and you can check if the mod menu works and there we have it guys we have the flimsy menu right now and we have the me the speed boost we got the speed boost platforms no clip so we have the um menus which is cool and yeah so guys that is how you get mods in gorilla tag um if you found this video helpful make sure to definitely like and subscribe i would really appreciate it um but please do not use these in public lobbies these mod menus are meant for privates and could even possibly get you banned in privates. The one I use, Sheba's version 5.5, um, does not get X version 5.5, sorry, does not get you banned at all. But um, 
if you're in privates, that is. So please only use these in privates and with caution. I am not responsible if y'all get banned for this. But with um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you're having any problems, please say it in the comments, and I will try to help you as best as I can. Um, but with that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye. Mom. Bye bye. Yeah.